What's going on guys? Today's Monday and today I want to take time to shoot another full day of eating for you guys and show you what I eat on a daily basis. You guys probably already know that I was doing the ketogenic diet, um, cycle ketogenic diet with carbs in the weekends as a refeed. Um, but I actually switched to eating regular carbs starting from today. So starting from today I'm not going to be doing keto anymore. I'm going to be back to following a high carb diet you could say. Um, but still to lose weight. So I will still be cutting. So I will still be eating the same amount of calories, but I will be replacing a lot of fats with carbs. Um, my protein will stay roughly the same. So that's the big difference I'm gonna make. Um, the reason for it is basically, I think that those the, the, these are the last couple of weeks of my cut. I think I look pretty decent right now. I'm around 82 kilograms. Um, I wanna shed a little bit more fat, but I think that the carbs will really fill me out. So they will make me look a little bit fuller. I've been on keto for around six weeks right now, I think, six to eight weeks, and I'm feeling kind of flat. I'm feeling my energy levels are still good. Um, the hunger suppression is great from the keto, and I just want to see if I can still die with carbs. I basically started keto because I think as a personal trainer, you want to have an insight in what kind of different diets are out there and what kind of work and what doesn't work. And I know that it works right now, but I, I just think that those last few weeks of my gut, those carbs really filled me out. Um, so I'm going to be eating carbs again. There are also social reasons for it, guys. Um, keto is not something you really want to sustain when you have an active lifestyle where you go out with friends and family and, and stuff like that. It's, it's really hard to, to maintain that. You cannot eat out at a restaurant and all kinds of things. So this is just going to make my life a little bit easier as well. And um, yeah, I just, I just kind of got a little bit sick of eating only fats having like limited food options okay when you can eat carbs and still a little bit of fats you don't really have limited options um when you can only eat 30 grams of carbs from vegetables um there is simply no carb source that you can possibly eat not even fruits so i think that with the same amount of calories i can still manage to lose weight um no problem i might be a little bit hungrier but hey i still got to make it happen so so from the start of the day scarves again um i'm still fasting right now but today i'm gonna work out at one o'clock and usually when i train fasted i only do that in the really in the morning so when i go at 10 maybe 11 o'clock because then i'm real i'm not really hungry uh, when i train later on the day i usually fast until an hour or two and then i work out at like 3 30. um but today since i'm working out at one o'clock i will have a, like a small meal before um, probably at 11.30 or something. Just to make sure that I have something inside my body because otherwise I will be hungry as fuck. So honestly, I don't really think it matters whether you work out fasted or not. Um, I can still push the same amount of weight. So it's kind of like, it's between your ears, guys. A lot of people think, oh, if I don't eat before this workout, I'm gonna fuck up, um, but it, it doesn't work that way, okay? So anyway, um, I'll get back to you guys at 11.30 and show you my first meal. So for my first meal, I'm just gonna have some oats. Gonna add some protein, some cinnamon, and some cacao powder. first meal um, which is the pre-workout meal afterwards uh, we're gonna hit some push workout it's Monday and I had a crazy weekend guys um, we went to Amsterdam dance event which is the whole week it's all kinds of dance events in Amsterdam and so went there with the boys and we went pretty goddamn hard guys um, yesterday we were home at like 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30, like my parents were having like freaking breakfast and I, I came walking in like a fucking zombie. Um, yeah, so Sunday I didn't work out, uh, but it was my rest day anyway, so I kind of calculated that as well. And it was just fucking amazing. It was just amazing. I uh, really enjoyed myself. Didn't gain any weight or anything. I, I cal calculated my macros um, just like I would anyway. I did have some like like dirty food, some fast food. But I actually calculated that stuff into my macros for that day. Um, so I didn't really gain any weight. Now that I'm getting back on carbs, I might weigh a little bit more in the next couple of days. Because you will hold some more water. 
Um, but it does, that doesn't interfere with fat loss, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, but I might gain some weight before I lose weight, actually, which kind of sounds weird, but I might gain a little bit of water weight and then I, I'll lose fat in the process. So it doesn't matter anyhow. Um, as for my macros, I'm just directly going back on carbs, okay? So it's not like I'm slowly dropping fats, increasing carbs, because that process would take like weeks. Um, and I don't have weeks, I want to cut right away. And I don't think it actually matters. It's just like reverse dieting. Um, I think the psychological benefits are great, um, but I think that as long as you're eating in a caloric deficit, it is impossible to gain fat, okay? That is not possible, okay? So I believe that when I just switch the fats for the carbs, I will not gain fat. Um, that's, that's not really possible, guys. So I think I'll be fine. Um, and if not, we'll see, uh, but I'm pretty sure I will be. So it's no big deal. I'm just directly going back on carbs and I'll see how I feel. So I hope this workout is going good. I've had some carbs before. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym, I guess. All right, guys, about to hit the gym right now. Um, the exercise you're gonna see today are gonna be a little bit different than from the original Lax Push Pull program I just posted. And the reason being is that we have been doing those exercises for around eight to 10 weeks and we always like to switch them up so we had a delo week last week and now we switch up the exercises because you don't want to be doing the same exercise for too long you definitely want to be doing them for for a good amount of time like at least two months eight weeks at least um so you can progress a lot but then you want to switch them up um to create that new stimulus and also hit muscles from different angles so you don't want to switch up your your workouts and your exercise that you do every single training that's stupid because you will not be able to progress uh, regularly and effectively. So you want to be doing the same exercise for a long period of time, but you still want to cycle between different exercises. So um, I'll see you guys in the gym. So I did 25 minutes of walking on an incline treadmill. So as you see, I'm sweating a little bit, um, but I want to really get a meal in first before I take a shower because I still have to prep my meal. Uh, I'm going to prep for a few days. So let me show you how it's done. So I'm going to make one kg of chicken for the next five days and I'm going to be having an apple while I prep my stuff. So I'm going to make some rice as well and some vegetables. Let's go. All right. So never mind. I was mistaken. I still have chicken left. So I'm gonna prep that stuff tomorrow, so just gonna make some rice, vegetables. So 
for my next meal, having six rice cakes, four with pita butter for the fats, and some white fish for the protein. So let's eat. All right guys, so it's a couple hours later now. I got some work in. So now it's time to eat my fourth meal, I believe. So I'm gonna have some banana pancakes, um, which I truly enjoy. If you wanna see the recipe, then click right here. Um, I got a blog about it. So let's go ahead and make it. And final meal, gonna have some special K, um, which has really good macros and it also contains a lot of fiber as well. So, we're gonna have that with milk, and I'm gonna have a bowl of quark, which is something we have in the Netherlands, and it's kind of like a combination between cottage cheese and Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna add some protein powder to it as well. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of protein, um, not even half a scoop, because it's just for the taste. Um, I got in enough protein in my macros. But the taste of this is really good. So this is the main chocolate flavor uh, from Biosynergy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Just gonna add a little bit of chocolate syrup from Water Farms, zero calories. So there you have it, the final meal of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And comment down below if you liked the video. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.